Hey everybody, welcome back, where today we're going to talk about all of the news that they dropped for Scarlet and Violet at the Pokemon World Championships during the um, the closing ceremony. There's a lot of interesting stuff here, like straight up. I'm a little excited for some of it. Um, the first very important thing is that every single starter is going to be available to just catch in... Um, in in the Blueberry Academy, the second DLC expansion, it looks like, which is really neat. Um, we have not had every starter in a single Pokemon game for a very long time. Um, I think maybe the last time it was possible was like Sun and Moon, but you couldn't catch them all in Sun and Moon. At least I don't think so. Um, obviously. Uh, Sword and Shield, you we didn't have a lot of the starters. We didn't have any of the Gen 2 starters. We didn't have any of the Gen 5 starters. Um, we didn't have any of the Gen 3 starters. Oh, no, we had the Gen 3 starters. <clears throat> we didn't have the Gen 4 starters. So now, for the first time in a very long time, you can have all of the starters, which means that pledge move stocks are going way up. And we all know how much I like the stupid-ass pledge moves. Um, very cool stuff. And, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um... And they're going to be in the wild, which is really interesting. Usually you don't see starter Pokemon in the wild. Um, are there any of these I think they are going to be particularly good? Yes. Obviously. Incineroar is coming back. The, 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 you know, the competitive Pokemon, Incineroar, the poster child of VGC. He's coming back, and he's, I, I heard some people thinking that he might not have Parting Shot. He's going to have Parting Shot, because if it's still an egg move that he gets... It doesn't matter if the Pokemon that it used to get it from aren't in the game, um, because now it can just get it with Mirror Herb. So as long as it's still a move that it learns, it can still get Parting Shot. Um, yeah, it's... it's, And who knows what new moves Incineroar is going to get, honestly. I'm a little scared. Um, other things that I'm excited for, I mean, obviously I love Sceptile. That's like my, my favorite starter Pokemon. Um, Snivy is going to come back, which means that we'll have Contrary Superior legal in the format, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know how good it's gonna be, but it's neat that it'll exist. Um, there's also a lot of these Pokemon that I've never gotten to use before for competitive. Like, I've never messed around with, um, Chikorita or Totodile. So, you know, maybe, you know, we can do stuff with them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of excited. It's gonna be neat. <coughs> We're gonna have all the starters. Um, yeah, maybe Venusaur will be good. I don't know. There's just, there's so many different options here. Um, maybe like with Terrastalization, something like, um, Torterra can be good, or, I don't know, maybe, maybe Speed Boost, like Blaziken is good now, because like Speed Boost as Spathra was a thing for a little while, I don't know, maybe it gets like some supporting move it didn't have before. There's just a lot of things going on, and I think, I'm, I'm excited personally, I think it's gonna be neat. Um, next we have some new moves, well they, they revealed four new moves, two of them, are the exclusive moves of the new Paradox Pokemon. We'll get to them in a second. Um, but we have these really cool new moves. The first one is called Upper Hand. It's a fighting type physical move. We don't know how strong it is. But basically, it's a counter for priority moves. <clears throat> so it's like it's like priority move, sucker punch, fake out. Um, basically, if you click this move and the opposing Pokemon clicked a priority move, you go first, and you flinch them, um, which is really cool. But the move just straight up fails if they don't click a priority move. So there's, it's a, it's, it sounds really niche. It might be good. I think the viability of this move slightly hinges on how good, um, how 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 priority it is. If it's more priority than like fake out then I think that it has a crazy chance because, like, this is just fake out, fake out. You know what I mean? Um, and it is a fighting type move, which means that ghost types are immune, which is, you know. But also, um, this can counter Chien, um, Chien Knight. I mean, obviously, you can run Inner Focus Dragonite to not get flinched. But, um, um, What's the name of the ability that I'm trying to... What is Dragonite's ability? It's... It's... Uh, why am I blinking so hard? The other ability that Dragonite has. With the scales. What is it called? <laughs> what is it called? Oh my goodness. 
Uh, multi-scale. That's the one. If the Dragon Eye has multi-scale, then it will just flinch, which is really cool. Assuming that it's higher priority than extreme speed, but I would imagine that it would at least be plus three priority. Um, it also is kind of vague here. Like, does this work on non-damaging moves? So, like, prankster Pokemon? Is this, like, you can just do this into Tornadus every turn and make them flinch if they try to click Tailwind? That's not something that I thought about until right now. Um, that would be pretty neat, but, um, I don't know. It just says priority move. Does this work on Protect? Is it higher priority than Protect? Does it make you flinch on Protect? Because that would be pretty busted. There's a lot of options here. Personally, I don't imagine it'll work on Protect because, you know, most things like this don't work on Protect, but... I could see it work on, like, Tailwind. Um, if this, like, stops priority Tailwind, that'd be kind of huge. And, um, we don't, obviously, we don't know how many Pokemon learn it, but if, like, Hariyama learns it and not Iron Hands, that would be really, like, a big boon for Hariyama. Um, and the other new move is called Psychic Noise, <coughs> which I think is a little bit more niche, um, but it's probably going to be really good in singles, just because, um, there's a lot more, like, healing in singles than there is in VGC, I think. Um, this is, this is really good against Big Stall, uh, but basically it's a Psychic type damaging move and it applies the heal block effect <coughs> for a certain number of turns. It doesn't say how many turns, it's probably like a random, like, kind of like taunt where it's like, oh yeah, it's like, it's like two or three or turns or something like that. Um, I don't know how the move heal block actually works, maybe that's worth looking into because it does straight up say, um... It does straight up say, like, heal block when when they, they try to, like, heal. Let's see here. It's straight up five turns. Um, huh. Boop -a -doo. So no status moves that heal. Mm. So you can't, like, select the move either. You can use Leech Seed... You don't get to heal after, like, Giga Drain. That's cool. Oh, except now you can't actually... Okay. Okay, yeah. So it just, like, blocks all healing moves except for Leech Seed, it seems like. Which is really cool. Um, Dondozo can't rest, which is, is kind of a big thing people are talking about. But I feel like this isn't a good Dondozo counter. I feel like the better Dondozo counter is just to take away its stab boost. Who knows? Uh, maybe it'll be more important. Maybe it won't. I don't know, but... This is basically just damaging heal block, but now dark types are immune to it. So it has, you know, it has its pros, it has its cons. Um, like I said, I think this is going to be a better move in singles. This definitely strikes me as like, this can deal with big stall probably, which is, you know, a good thing for singles players. Good for you guys. I'm happy for you. And the other thing we have to go to, they did the full reveal of the, the new Paradox Pokemon because they weren't on the, uh, the Pokemon list before. <clears throat> Let's start with Iron Crown. It is the least exciting for me, obviously. Um, so it's it got we got confirmation it's still psychic. Oh, oh, hey, <coughs> gosh, it's still psychic. Um, its ability is in fact quirk drive. There was never really any doubt. Like why wouldn't it be quirk drive? Um, something about its horns. I don't know. It's just like flavor text. But it has a brand new move called Tachyon Cutter. It's a Steel type special move. Um, which is pretty interesting, and it never misses, um, and it always hits two times. So this reads to me kind of like Double Iron Bash, so it'll probably be like base power 40, but it doesn't do an accuracy check, which is kind of huge. Um, this will get around stuff like Minimize Muck and stuff like that, and it's a Steel-type move, so Muck's not gonna like resist it or anything. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's cool. They show it knocking out a Mimikyu, which is really neat. Um, it is a special move. I don't know. I don't know if a base 40 steel type move um, just straight up knocks out Mimikyu from full HP. I mean, I guess probably if it's not like EV trained very well, I feel like Mimikyu should be able to take that if it's like a bulky Mimikyu. So this is probably just no bulk Mimikyu. Maybe I'm thinking about it too hard. Or maybe this move has like a really strong base power. I don't know. But um, I'm very excited that it's not just Iron Leaves' signature move, but steel type. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Um, I think this is an interesting move, and I think, you know, it's it's better for it to have this than Steel-type Iron Leaves' move. And then Raging Bolt's move is even cooler, okay? Electric Dragon, really cool typing. Um, this means that the Paradox Entei will probably be Fire Dragon, 
I'm like 90% sure Protosynthesis um, is the better of the two abilities, I think, unless we get like Tepu Koko, you know. Um, a Ring of Fury sways about its neck. Fur, huh? Very interesting that it has fur. Does that mean Paradox Entei is going to have fur? Because I feel like all the options would look really weird with fur. But it has this new move called Thunderclap, and it's special type electric sucker punch. <clears throat> it's straight up electric type sucker punch. Maybe it'll be like a lower base power, maybe it'll be a higher base power, I don't know. But it's straight up special electric type sucker punch. And this is amazing because that means that this Pokemon straight up just deals with Urshifu. It straight up just deals with um, uh, that guy right there. His name is Iron Bundle. Um, they will not take this attack because this is a super effective special attack and they really like don't take attacks like that. Um, they're very like specially frail. So yeah, that's this is really good. Um, it also does confirm this is a special attacker, which is really cool. Um, I was kind of hoping that it would be. I, I don't know. I feel like all three of the uh, the these guys are probably going to be special attackers. Maybe Ente I guess Entei could be a physical attacker. Entei is probably a physical attacker. But maybe it'll still learn Eruption. That'd be cool. But yeah, I don't know. That's really cool. Um, just that it's like a priority move. And I don't know. I get the sense that maybe this Pokemon's going to be kind of slow. So having a really strong electric type priority move is really neat we also don't get special priority moves very often i want to say the only other one i can think of is greninja signature move water shuriken um other than that i can't think of any other special priority moves every other priority move is like physical so this will be pretty cool <clears throat> um yeah I'm, I'm really excited actually for for this dude um this is this a pokemon looks amazing and i'm super excited for it it's probably going to be bulky. Like, there's no way this thing isn't bulky, right? Like, look at it. It looks slow and bulky. They could surprise us. Maybe it's fast, but... I think I would prefer if it was bulky, especially with this move on it. But yeah. That's, um... That's it, I think. That was everything they announced. Um... Yeah. DLC comes out in September. September... Hmm... They announced the release date, but they never put it on the website. What is up with that? Oh, the other thing. The other thing. There's one more thing. <laughs> I can't believe I almost forgot. So, <coughs> this is in the reveal video. A lot of us were like, oh, this is for Terrapagos, you know? Um, no. They have announced that there is a 19th Terra type. Now, I, they're being very specific. They're, say, they're calling it the 19th Terra type, which I'm pretty sure means that um this is not going to be like a typing you can catch a pokemon with it's just for terrestrialization um let's see all right this is just about like regular terrestrialization um they didn't tell us anything about the 19th terra type obviously like this thing makes it look like rainbow colored my guess is that um I don't know, they could make it, like, really broken, but I feel like the most fair and, like, kind of interesting thing would be if it is just neutral into every other type, and every other type is neutral into it. And I think that'd be really cool for some, like, defensive Pokemon with no weaknesses. You obviously won't have any resistances either. It'll be kind of like normal type, except you can hit ghost types, and you're not weak to fighting, and, like, steel types don't resist you. I don't know, I feel like that'd be super fair. Um, maybe it'll be different, maybe it'll be... Um, I don't know, I saw people saying, like, it'll boost all of your moves by 1.5. Or, it'll it'll give you, like, an extra boost in all of your moves greater than 1.5 times. Oh, no, what was it? You get stab on all of your moves. Um, but in, in exchange, you, like, take extra damage or something. I don't know. I feel like the most, the thing that makes the most sense to me is if it's just neutral into everything and everything is neutral into it. Uh, especially with this rainbow design, I don't know. <coughs> Maybe it just makes all of your moves this type. So all of your moves hit neutral. That would be pretty interesting. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think the 19th Terra type is going to be? Do you think it'll be like a new type actually? Because I, I really don't. I think it's just going to be just for Terra. Do you think it's going to do something different? Like very surprising? Do you think this is going to denounce like form change for certain Pokemon? 
they do show that Bexcalibur is using it, so we know that it's not just, um, it's not just, like, for Terrapagos and Ogre Pond, so, I, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of on the fence, I, I, I feel like what makes the most sense to me is neutral everything, but the way that those are glowing seems kind of weird. Listen, maybe it's neutral for everything and you just get like an extra boost onto all of your moves. I don't know. It seems very interesting. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you like this video, guys, leave me that big fat like. Leave me a comment. Um, tell me your thoughts. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe, especially if you're all the way here at the end of the video. Like, and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? It's like 15 minutes long. You spend 15 minutes of your day listening to me ramble. Just subscribe. Uh, we just hit 1,600 subscribers. Um... Congrats to us, man. If you told me that I was going to get 1,600 subscribers when I started posting videos, I don't know if I would have believed you. Of course, I always, like, wanted it, but it's just, it just feels, like, crazy, you know? I got two whole Orlando regionals worth of subscribers. Two entire of the largest Pokemon tournament ever. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, with that, everybody, my name's Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time. Flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main. Make a big breeze in my flutter brain. Eevee's giving me flutter gains. Play it on rain, call a flutter rain. Get what you you run a flutter train. Boss so smooth like a butter main. Flutter main, flutter main, flutter main. Flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main, flutter main. Make a big reads in my flutter brain. Eevee's giving me flutter gains. Play it on rain, call a flutter rain.